In this video I'm going to teach you my quick way of adding a cool 90s VHS effect to your digital art. Hi everyone, Malachi James here. For more art, animation and industry related discussions, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you're always up to date. Now, this 90s VHS effect I'm about to teach you can be used on almost any software, as long as it has blending mode features, blur and noise effects, most digital art software does, including Photoshop. I just happen to be using Clip Studio Paint. So first things first, you've got your finished illustration or painting, now merge all the layers, duplicate that layer, and on the duplicated layer, hover over to the blur or effects column, apply a Gaussian blur, and set the opacity to 20%. Merge these two layers, then duplicate it again three times. Then create three new layers, and now you'll want to position the duplicated art layers underneath each of the blank new layers. Get your paint bucket tool, and select the most saturated red, fill the bottom empty layer with it. Select the most saturated green, Fill the middle empty layer with it. Select the most saturated blue. Now fill the top layer with it. And now set all the saturated layers to multiply on the blending mode drop down menu. Then merge each saturated multiplied layer to each art layer below. Once that's done, apply the screen blending mode to the blue and green layers. Now here's where the magic happens. Get your transform tool on the blue layer. Adjust the scale slightly in the top left hand corner. Then get your transform tool on the green layer and adjust the scale slightly in the bottom right hand corner. Merge all these layers, then create a new layer and apply a mid gray tone to it with the paint bucket tool. Now apply a noise effect at 8% and the result of the percentage will vary depending on the software. And once you're satisfied with the noise effect, set it on an overlay at around 14% and then merge these two layers. Saturation at about plus 10. Again, this will vary depending on the desired values of your piece. I tend to play with these adjustments to maximize my art's visibility if I'm posting it on social media. I've left a link in the description to view the finished version of this drawing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Was this useful to you? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with friends. Stay positive everyone, keep creating, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.